Good morning, this is Fred Hadley reporting live over Facebook um, for the Village Century. We're standing on the lawn uh, alongside Cornwall E, and we're uh, looking at the new Your Speed sign, also known as a driver feedback sign. And this has been newly installed on Century Village Boulevard. We've got to take a look at this. <clears throat> Uh, as you can see, it's set up between the bicycle lane and Century Village Boulevard um, westbound side. And most of us are familiar with these uh, uh, driver feedback signs. They have some kind of built-in uh, speed detection, whether it's radar, LIDAR, I don't know the exact technology. And the purpose of it is to allow the motorists to see what their actual speed is. As you can see, as the cars go by, the uh, LEDs read out the speed. Now, normally there's also a, um, a, a physical sign that tells you what the posted limit is, uh, but they, they have that folded over. Uh, because I, I don't think the sign goes down to 20. Um, so, as you can see, somebody just went by about 30, 37, 38. Here comes another car. So, so obviously, there is a speeding problem in Century Village. We can see that the cars are uh, whizzing by. And this is the four-lane section of Century Village Boulevard. Uh, between Cornwall Drive and Ainsley Drive. Uh, ironically, this sign is just a few yards away from where the body of the first Century Village pedestrian fatality uh, wound up uh, laying on the pavement after she was struck by a uh, trailblazer. She was uh, crossing in the crosswalk This now, I guess you could say, is almost an electronic shrine to that accident. It is 32 miles an hour. Uh, very, very few cars are, are within the speed limit. We're getting 37, 36 miles an hour, reading out. Um, so we, we check with the company that makes these things. Um, we're not, we're not sure whether Century Village purchased this or whether it's uh, uh, just a, a loaner from the police, um, but the purchase price of the driver feedback sign that you're looking at, including the solar panel, which this one has, you can't see it, it's flat right between the two wheels of the uh, base. Uh, the complete package delivered with tax is about 3000 $200. And as I mentioned, um, it is solar powered and supposedly, according to the company, it has an internal battery that's constantly being recharged by the solar panel. And even on a cloudy day, like right now, there's no direct sun, um, the device will continue operating anywhere from three to five days. Now that bus that just went by, of course, was in the bus lane. I don't think it was uh, uh, in the path of the radar gun or whatever device they're using. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the battery, depending on the uh, amount of traffic, will keep the thing going for three to five days, even in overcast weather. Obviously, if it's in a busy uh, location like Century Village Boulevard here, uh, it'll probably be a shorter uh, battery life. Uh, because each trigger and the LEDs lighting up will uh, delete or deplete the battery somewhat. So, but three to five days is pretty good battery life here in Florida where it's plenty of sunshine most of the time. So here's a car going, looks like, I can't really tell, 38, 31 miles an hour. So, Almost nobody, as you can see, is driving at the posted limit, which is 20 miles an hour. Uh, 
Uh, here comes a vehicle at 30, looks like 36. But now maybe slowing down. Mid 20s, I would say. And this is not a, uh, a ticket issuing device. They're not writing any summons. This is strictly for the driver to see how fast they're going. The theory is that if you're told how fast you're going, you'll voluntarily slow down, but it doesn't seem to uh, be having much effect here. Uh, there's virtually nobody going below 30 miles an hour. It is 36 miles an hour. And uh, well, here comes somebody reasonably slow. Looks like 20, 22. It's kind of hard to read this display. Um, so we have a big garbage truck now coming along the boulevard. Oh, no, he's turning into Cornwall. Cancel that. So let's see what these guys are doing. Looks like about the mid 20s. Now, my understanding, uh, based on the Cabrua meeting, is they're going to move this uh, driver feedback sign, also known as your speed sign. They're going to move it around the village in various locations. Uh, what, what will probably happen is for the first week or so, there might be some lowering of speed. But just like everything else, people will grow used to it and become oblivious. Um, we do not have any enforcement of speed limits in Century Village, even though the Cobrura reporter says that they will enforce uh, speed limits. I don't know anybody that's ever received a letter or uh, a notice of violation. The police are not able to enforce speed limits inside Century Village, um, supposedly because we are not up to code as far as lane marking, stop sign heights, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Um, now, the only thing I can tell you is our sister village in Century Village, West Palm Beach, uh, is uh, involved in a program with the sheriff where they pay approximately a quarter of a million dollars annually for a dedicated Palm Beach sheriff uh, office vehicle to um, write summonses for either speeding or red light violations, uh, excuse me, stop sign violations. We don't have any red lights inside the village. Now, by the way, uh, there was a major accident this morning, a little after 9 a.m. Uh, on 441 and Kimberly um, that involved multiple vehicles and multiple injuries. And the only thing I can tell you is uh, we, we weren't at the scene but there is a photo online on Boca News Now of one of the cars and that the injured were taken to area hospitals is the only thing they're reporting. I don't believe there was any fatality. Um, we're now in, into peak season in South Florida. And it seems that because last year was almost a non-season, that there's a lot of pent up demand and that there's plenty of people coming down here uh, the Canadians are all uh, down here. A lot of them skipped an entire year. And the traffic is just getting uh, heavier and heavier. Uh, of course, the upside is when traffic doesn't move very well, you don't get fatal accidents. But uh, there's also a higher incident of accidents because the more cars on the road, the more likelihood that they will both try to occupy the same space at the same time, which is known as a collision. Um, most collisions are avoidable if people drive defensively, signal, um, safe following distance. So the police have gotten away from the word accident because accident almost implies it was inevitable. But 90% of uh, car accidents, if not more, uh, are preventable. Uh, if people were just a little more careful or slowed down or followed uh, the rules of the road. So there you have it once again we're on century village boulevard and just west and somehow or other my image just flipped so we're going to sign off now we're trying to zoom this thing out i don't know why the image flipped all right so reporting live on century village boulevard
in front of the new driver feedback sign, which may or may not be slowing down traffic, but certainly not to the posted limit. Fred Hadley reporting live. Thanks for tuning in. Your comments are appreciated. Thank you.